Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is the daily news for July 18th, 2020. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Somebody might be enlightened by them. To my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel. And I greatly appreciate you. I totally do. Now, before I get started, I have a special surprise for you guys today, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if it's a surprise or not, but... Um, I wanted to explain a few things because I know I have a, um, some new readers and I don't want anybody to be confused. Okay, I really don't. Now, when I say it may or may not resonate, that basically means that, you know, it might sound like your story or it might not, right? You might hear a couple things in there that, yeah, sounds like my story. And a couple things that are like, whoa, that's crazy. Oh my God, is that going to happen? No, it's not going to happen. If you start thinking like that, that definitely means it's not going to happen, right? Um, I could say something like, oh, somebody's going to get pregnant here, you know? Oh, and then there's, oh, you know, four girls on the side and all of them are pregnant. Well, no. That's not going to happen, okay? Could happen to someone out there, but not everybody. Because I'm collecting a lot of energies here. It doesn't have to be your story, you know? If you're in a loving relationship and it sounds like someone's cheating and lying and doing all these terrible things, it's probably not you, okay? But then if there's nice things going on there and you're like, oh, that sounds like my story, then that probably is, okay? <clears throat> so just understand I'm collecting a lot of energies here and it's like it's like people throwing a bunch of words at you and you're like wait give me time I, let me get time to think of all these words right it's, it's kind of like that if you understand that so today I was also drawn to speak about the date I used to do the date every single day in my other readings but I was kind of you know thrown off that because um at the time, it, I didn't feel like it was necessary. So I'm going to show you something today, which is the, that's the little surprise. <laughs> I have a piece of paper here. Okay. So this reading, okay, I, I do a lot with numbers, you guys. All right. Um, just want to let you know that you can Google any number, any number, and you're going to find a definition for it. All right. Interesting, right? Try it one time. Try it today after this, maybe. Right? Anyways. I want to show you something when it comes to dates. This reading is for July 18th, 2020. I hope you guys can see that. Yeah, I think you can, okay? Now, in order to find what kind of day this is today, what number it is, you add up the numbers, right? So I'm going to show you how to add these numbers, and I'm going to give you a little more information, okay? Bear with me. I know you guys want to get to the reading. You want me to hurry, 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 but, you know, I want to show you something. So and this is good knowledge. It might help you on your own journey, okay? Basically, with numbers... You add the numbers, right? You kind of add them in groups because this is, you know, month, day, and year. You want to add those individually first. You don't add zeros, of course, right? Two plus two, that adds up to four. See that? Can you see that? Let me do it harder. There we go. Over here, we got that day. Eight plus one, that's nine. Okay. And this is a single digit, so we'll just bring that down. Now, you can start adding these numbers together. Doesn't matter which order. 
because no matter which order you're going in, it's still gonna come out the same. And I'll show you that right now. Seven plus nine is 16, right? Plus four. Okay, or if you think, oh, what if I do it the other way? I'm gonna show you that too, look. Nine plus four is 13. And then plus that seven, right? Yeah. Okay, so those are the two options. Let's add those numbers now. You always add up the double digit numbers, right? Or more. There's no double digits here, but when you add two together, some of them add up to double digits, right? Yes. So, six plus one is seven. We're still gonna do that plus four. I'm just gonna bring it down. You can eventually do this in your head, but I just wanna do this really clearly for you guys so you see, right? Then we have three plus one, that's four. And plus uh, seven. Would you take a look at that? So either way you go, it's gonna add up to the same, right? Now, the final number. Seven plus four is 11. And just to verify, four plus seven is 11. So we got the number 11. Oh, it looks like a piggy nose. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys, the way I did it. Now, so today's number, when you add it up, is actually number 11. Now, when it comes to numbers, you never reduce the master numbers. Master numbers are 11, 22, and 33. You leave them as is. Now, if the number 11 was here, you would leave it, and you would say 11, plus seven, right? You don't reduce that, never, never, never. Not 22 or 33, but this is not the case, okay? But, you know, if you have any questions, just comment below and uh, I'll try to, you know, help you with that question. So this is in master number 11 day, July 18th, 2020. And like I said, <clears throat> You can Google any number. I'm just gonna leave that there as I keep explaining something. I was really drawn to talk about the numbers today. I woke up this morning and I started shuffling the cards and trying to pull in the energy, you know, and have a cup of coffee and listen to my little relaxing morning coffee jazz, <laughs> which is what I play all the time because I want everybody to come here in kind of a nice calm mood for the reading. Because other, otherwise, if I get that, you know, anxiety energy then I start feeling it and it's, it's harsh <laughs> it's okay though you guys don't worry that's why I'm here so you can de definitely look up all the numbers right <clears throat> now when you look up the numbers there are so many definitions so many but you, you're only gonna be drawn to a few because you're gonna be like, whoa, that's a lot of reading. But your eyes will pinpoint things as you read, like, oh, okay, my eyes are drawn here, I'm supposed to read that. That's you following your intuition on what you need to read, okay? Now, what I got from today's number, and I, I, I actually know a lot of the numbers offhand by heart because I've been doing this for a very long time, um, but, because I say I said what I said that when you open up a site and you're looking through for your answer because the whole thing is just so much right but your eyes are gonna be drawn to certain sentences and phrases and that's your that's the answer that you are guided to see and I was guided to see some numbers you guys you know normally I know the master numbers about enlightenment it's about um, becoming aware you know that's my simple definition, but I decided to look it up and this is what I got, okay? So <clears throat> what I actually got for the number 11 today was the number 11 for today, or for the 18th actually, because I do read a day ahead or a day behind, right? Did I say that right? I think so. <laughs> 
because today is actually the 17th, so I'm reading for tomorrow, okay? So tomorrow is the number 11 day, or today, depending on when you see it. And the definition I got for today is, this represents a higher source of wisdom, right? Yes. Somebody is becoming enlightened. You all who are watching this are becoming enlightened. Why? Because I just taught you something. <laughs> Basically, that's what it is, right? I showed you something and you're like, oh, okay, I understand. There you go. You got enlightened. Simple, right? Yeah. And basically what this is, is messenger of the universe. So I was guided to be the messenger of the universe to teach you about the daily number. Simple, right? Yeah, totally. Now, this number 11, it represents a person who is a bringer of spiritual awareness. Now, I was guided to teach you guys this because whoever actually does see this video, that's what you are. You may not feel it now, but eventually you will be a bringer of spiritual awareness. And I'm not talking about big wordy phrases with your heads up in the clouds of, you know, you know, elaborate explanations of the universe. No. You're probably going to be a person who explains it just like me, very simple, to the point to where somebody can understand, right? Where you don't have to go through some crazy explanation because you think somebody doesn't understand. That's not necessary. Absolutely not. If you know about something, you know how to explain it rationally, nicely, calmly, and to the point. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Might not come today. Might not come tomorrow, but it's gonna come to you, okay? Now, I also got <clears throat> that the number 11, master number 11, mind you, is a person who is a supporter of humankind. Yes. If you are guided to watch this video, video this is you somebody who supports humankind. Maybe you are wanting world peace. You want to bring more love into the world and, and not so much hate, right? Yes. It's about the cosmic truth, right? Receiving truth from the universe, possibly through meditation. Maybe you get a lot of epiphanies. You know, maybe you do. Maybe you'll be sitting and you know, having your morning coffee, looking outside, or even sitting outside in nature, and then all of a sudden something pops in your head. Boom! Cosmic truth. You've got that epiphany, right? That might happen even to you a lot. And sometimes those are things that you need to share, so don't be shy. But do be careful who you share that with, because people will say, Oh my God, you're crazy. So be careful with that one too, okay? <laughs> know who, who you're speaking with, and... Uh, try to bring a better awareness and understanding to others around you, right? Because mm -hmm. that's what you are. You're going to be a bringer of knowledge. You know, you don't have to believe anything I say or take anything I say as truth. But this is what I see, you know? Because remember, you are the creator of your own destiny. You know? You don't need me. You don't need tarot card readers to bring about your own destiny. All you have to do is believe in yourself, right? Now this number also um, resonates, right? Resonates uh, with a few words that I got. And those words are harmony, empathy, and sensitivity. I may have just described you as that, right? Yeah. So I was really guided to see those three words to explain um, a little bit about the person who's viewing this video. Okay. 
I don't know what you got out of that. I was guided to say it. I was guided to show you guys. So if you have anything to say about that, I would love it if you commented below because I don't know everything. And you know what, you guys? No one does. I don't care if somebody says you know everything and the answers are there, you have to search. No, no, absolutely not. Maybe you do have to search though by doing research, right? Maybe that epiphany comes to you and you don't know what it is and you're like, wow, I don't, I wonder what that, Google it. Start with Googling it, right? Answers will come up and then you'll be like, wow, I want to look into that. Then you run to the library and you check it out and that's how you figure stuff out. Okay. That's how it is. Nothing is absolute and no one knows everything and do not allow anybody to push their views on you okay because yes however you want your life and how you want to live it and how you want to be that's your own decision do not allow anyone to force you to believe everything they say you might believe some things that some people say but in your gut, you're like, whoa, I got that feeling. You know what that feeling is? That feeling is, don't listen to this person. They're not telling you the truth, right? And if you do feel that way, just nod and smile and say, okay, thank you, and walk away. And then you can do your own research on the side and find out if they were lying, telling the truth, or just talking out of their bottom, right? All right, you guys, I'm ready for that reading. Shoot. I feel, I feel kind of like... A little teacher at the moment but you know <coughs> I was guided to tell you guys that I I used to do the daily when I used to do the readings every morning um, I used to do the number every day too but it's uh, I thought I'd just show you it's simple like that you know my channel everything is free here I don't charge I don't do personal readings all right you can come to the channel and you can look for um, videos and whatever you're guided to watch hey that's when it's meant for you that's what timeless means okay you don't have to watch this video on the date posted you don't and maybe um, you want to watch it in a month and if that's when you're drawn to it that that's when you're supposed to see it doesn't matter if there's a date on it doesn't matter the title nothing you might be drawn to it by the little emojis I don't know um, you can watch a video that I made um, six months ago and that might be for you at that moment, okay? So there's another thing in case you weren't knowing that, okay? <clears throat> All right. So these cards, of course, have been pre-shuffled. This is a learning channel, so I do explain all the cards, okay? Oops, these cards are upside down. Let me fix that. Um, that's why I show you guys the cards, you know, with my, my hands right here instead of on me because I want to explain the cards each individually to you. Hopefully, if you watch enough videos and get an understanding, then you will be able to read the tarot too, by yourself, for yourself, you know, or others. Maybe you want to make a YouTube channel like me eventually. There's nothing wrong with that. It's fun. It's fun, you guys, and it's, it's really fun to share the knowledge, okay? It really is. So, this is a general energy for July 18th, 2020. General energy is the Ace of Rods. Yes! Now, <laughs> you guys, rods are about passion, right? The ace of, of rods is also, um, it's about overcoming desire, right? It's about building trust and having courage. Um, starting something brand new passionately. And I feel like this is resonating already because like, I felt passionate enough to teach you about the number system, right? About dates. <laughs> yes so this could be for somebody out there not just me but for a lot of people maybe you're getting up this morning you're passionate about something right there's something that you want to show something some someone or something that you uh, an idea you had a project in mind and you want to put that to work but somebody is gonna be passionate about something today you know I love that <clears throat> so let's go ahead and find out let's get uh, let me get four cards. Four. This is for July 18th, 2020. July 18th, 2020. July 18th, 2020. July 18th, 2020. 
Let me get four cards for July 18, 2020. Okay, came out sideways. I'm going to take it this way. July 18, 2020. Oh, July 18, 2020. Okay, well, let me go chase that one card that flew. Didn't fly too far. It's in the upright. I can see it. Ugh. Some readers don't take them off the floor. I just take them. I don't know what the difference is. I take them, okay? That, th that flew out crazy style, so I'm definitely going to take it, right? So this was the card that flew on the floor. It's the uh, moon card. It's in the upright. Then we got the five of rods, and because I only pull four cards, we got two extras out. This one's touching the mat. That one's going to go there. We're going to find out what this is. Ooh, the wheel of fortune. Yes. This is about plan set in motion. I told you guys. Right? Somebody's going to wake up, they're going to have a new idea, and they're going to put that plan in motion. Nice. Nicey nice. Let's get to stick that back in the deck. But look what's at the bottom here at the, of this deck for this round. Five of Pentacles. Now the Five of Pentacles, that's about, uh, you know, feeling left out in the cold, possibly losing some money. So this project might lose some money because you got to put money into it or time, right? Um, but not necessarily. So let's keep going. We're going to see what the rest of the cards say, and we're going to uh, go from there, right? <clears throat> All right. So we have the Two of Pentacles. So yeah, you might be juggling some ideas. Somebody out there is trying to come up with ideas. Maybe that epiphany came, and they're thinking, okay, what am I going to do? How am I going to do this? How am I going to start this, right? Well, you do your research first. Right. Look into other. Um, if you haven't had an, if you've had an idea, look uh, into what other people have done in regards to that. Right. Because I'm sure it's been done before. Um, just maybe you have your own special way that might, you know, set you above the rest. Right. Set you in a different category. And so you might be juggling some ideas here. You might even be thinking, how can I do this? I got kids. I got family. Do I have time? Well, you can just put your little, you know, time away for on the side, you know. Now, I'm also seeing here that now if it comes to maybe a relationship situation, somebody may be starting a relationship very passionately, very quickly, very strongly. Um, but somebody also might even have somebody on the side already and not know it. Somebody might be juggling relationships. Now, it could be jobs, too. You know, the Two of Pentacles, this is about, um, <clears throat> you know, juggling and multitasking and stuff like that. But it could also be uh, using intuition. Okay. Um, the Moon card, this is all about illusions, right? Uh, there's not any 100% truth here, no. This is about secrets, illusions, fear anxiety using your intuition lies yes lies now we also have the five of rods here and the five of rods you know it's not always a bad card you know even though you know readers say oh you know you're in your head you're struggling you know and, and it's not always that way in this case I do say I will say it is because in this case in the card the people look like they're fighting with each other um, other cards may look as if people are working together. Okay, I have several decks and they all look different. This deck happens to be there's somebody, there's people fighting with each other. So this could be mental conflict, confusion, possibly from lies, right? But somebody here is confused mentally and they're trapped in their mind about it, unable to move forward. Now we have the Hierophant card here, and the Hierophant card represents a marriage, a union, contracts, or some sort of study, right? Somebody may be wanting to study something. This could be somebody taking a class or going to school, uh, taking a, um, joining a group, you know, that teaches, you know, knitting or something, knitting or painting or, could be anything really, you know? Um, shoot, it could be an AA meeting, right? Learning something. So let's go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I felt like I needed to teach you guys this today. I don't know. So today is basically a, a teaching tarot kind of day. So just bear with me. I know it's running long already, but I want you guys to uh, I want you guys to know this. So we do have the two of pentacles. We have the two of pentacles here. Why is the two of pentacles here? 
I'm going to take three cards for each card. Why the two of pentacles here? Okay. The card is like that. I'm going to take it upright. If the card was like that, I would take it in the reverse, right? Use your intuition on that. I felt to take it like this. Okay. It's, it's, it's your discretion, your intuition, right? Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> Let me get two more cards, please. Let me get two more cards. Two more cards. So for the collector for the daily news for July 18th, 2020, I like to I like to speak uh, what I'm doing to the cards too because sometimes they forget. You never know. You never know. They probably don't, but <laughs> you know. Let me get one more card for that Two of Pentacles for July. Okay. Okay, so let's go here. Let's get this started. Let's get this party started. Just kidding, you guys. Okay, so we got the Four of Cups here. Now, the Four of Cups represents uh, a hesitation to try something new, right? It's about fear of past mistakes. Somebody may, might even come in with an offer to you, and you're going to be like, what? Uh, no. No. I'm not going to accept that offer. I'm bored with it, and I'm just not going to do it, right? It might be that, or you just say, ah, maybe I'm going to think about it. We have the Ace of Wands here. The Ace of Wands, there you have it. Double confirmation. You're bored with that because you want something new. You're trying to move forward to something more passionate. Maybe, you know, that idea. You know, maybe these two options right here. One option is meh, and the other option is passion. Yeah, I'm going for it, right? So, yes, definitely going to make a choice. I can't even make this up. This just, you saw it. You guys saw the cards fly out. You know, I mentioned all this stuff before the cards even flew out, you know, but there you have it. You see, somebody's going to make an offer. It could be an offer, any situation, job, love, projects, you know, whatever. And you're going to be bored with the offer because you're passionate about something else. And you're going to actually make a decision to move forward on whichever thing you choose, right? You have two choices here, you know. I just heard the Beastie Boys song. Okay, anyways. Um, now, we have the moon. And that's another thing. The songs might come into your head. It could Then they could come into your head from the things you say. I said you have cho two choices what you can do. To me, it's like, that's a Beastie Boys song. Right away, popped into my head. I, I can't remember um, the name of the song, but it's like, you got two choices of what you can do. You know, um... Oh, what's the rest of the words? Oh my god, I used to love that song. I can blow you away or you can ride with me. Oh, I think I'll ride with you if you can get me to the border. The sheriff's after me from what I did to his daughter. I did it like this. I did it like that. You guys know that song? If somebody knows it, put it below. <laughs> I don't like to sing. I'm not a good singer, but I brought that out for somebody. Somebody, this is that song right now. Basically going to resonate with somebody out there. I don't even know. <laughs> Okay, so there's the moon card, okay? So we might be talking about a relationship here, right? Remember, if you're in a happy relationship and everything's fine, don't make this fit in your life, okay? Um, we have the Three of Swords here, and um, the Three of Swords is about heartbreak, you know? Three-party situation. You know, also could be, you know, meddling family members. Maybe you got a parent that's just like, you know, coming in, well, you should do this, and you and Bob, you know, shut up. That's not making anything better, to be quite honest. Uh, you could be dealing with the Queen of Swords. Now, Queen of Swords is uh, an air sign. I don't, I'm not specific with the signs unless, you know, I feel the need to call it out. And I don't. All right. Um, but, well, the moon card, I just felt called, uh, you know, drawn to call out the sign of Pisces. This card is also the card of Pisces. So there could be a Pisces out there dealing with an air sign. Okay. Um, this is a, a female because it's queen of air, right? Queen of swords, but that's just an energy, right? You can be a male watching this, dealing with a Pisces in your female energy, okay? So, <clears throat> let's see what else we have here. One more card, okay. And this is in the reverse. All right. <clears throat> so, basically what's going on here is there's some lies going on illusions going on in a situation somebody was uh, put into a three-party situation okay could be with a Pisces uh, air sign and water sign right 
But this Queen of Swords, you know, this person, she's got a lot of strategy. She's intelligent and she's ambitious. She's always moving forward, right? Um, no matter what somebody does, what they say to her, how they try to drag her down, she's just going to keep moving forward because that's the kind of person she is. Could be dealing with the King of Cups, right? Pisces is a water sign. Could be that. Who knows? I don't know. Doesn't have to be. Could be dealing with two people or it could be the same person. But with this King of Cups right here, he's in the reverse. The King of Cups has no emotions. All right. Normally, the King of Cups is about sensitivity. He cre he, he uh, uses his channeled energy of that sensitivity to create something special, right? To bring him success. But this person is, doesn't have any emotions. Mm -mm. This person is... is um, is mean basically this person is mean um, they have no emotions they don't care about other people's feelings all they care about is their own they don't listen you know not a very uh, nice person not at all always fighting with others accusing others playing the victim all the time mm -hmm. that's who this person is <clears throat> Why is this five of rods there? Why is this five of rods here? This is for the collective for the daily news for July 18th, 2020. Five of rods. Why is that five of rods there? Two more cards, please. Whoa. Let me get one more card, please. One more card, please. There we go. And, you know, I got up this morning, you guys, and all these things are in my head, and I'm telling spirit, hey, Shut up and give me a second. I haven't even got my coffee yet. Just please clear my mind right now so we can have a nice, easy read. <laughs> oh, my goodness, you guys. The energy is really strong today. Okay. Got that five of rods there. Somebody definitely fighting, fighting with themselves. This is mental conflict for sure, right? This mental conflict is caused by lies. The five of swords, to me, this is my liar card. Somebody's lying. Could be lying to others, could be lying to themselves, right? This is deception, deception with those lies, right? And this person that could be in conflict with their self, with themselves is a possible disappointment. This is a difficult opponent here, somebody who doesn't want to listen, somebody that always wants to speak, that won't give anybody, let anybody get in a word edgewise. Yeah, that's that person. We have the King of Wands here, fire sign, male energy, but could be female, male or female, right? We all have male and female energies. We can be sensitive or we can be um, firm also, right? Women are sensitive, male are a little bit more on the firm side, you know. We all have those energies, both of them. So we do have this King of Wands here and this King of Wands, this person, it's in the upright though this person is a skilled person this is a transformer right this is a person who it could be a female who is very um firm with her words has her boundaries doesn't let anybody step all over her okay um she speaks her mind she speaks her truth and she's very passionate about it okay um somebody may have lied to this individual whether it's a male or female okay um I do see some conflict between, there could be some conflict between a, an air sign queen, fire sign king, male or female energy, but here's that third party. Somebody here is interfering in it. Actually, this person could be interfering because these two are together. So somebody on the outside is interfering and they're bringing lies in. They're bringing conflict in. Three of Cups, yeah, there he is. That's third party, right? Because the Three of Cups, it could either be a party or a celebration. Sounds the same, right? Yeah, but not in this case. In this case, it's a three-party situation, as in somebody um, interfering with a relationship, somebody interfering with um, a friendship or a job or something like that, whatever you're involved with. <clears throat> Let me get three cards for that Hierophant card. Three cards for that Hierophant card. All right. Got two cards. Uh, yeah, it goes like this. Let me get one more card, though. Okay, you guys. Let me get one more card for that Hierophant card. <clears throat> Let me get one more card for that Hierophant card. 
One more card for that Hierophant card. One more card. And this is for the Daily News. Okay. At the bottom of the deck here on this set, we have the Two of Wands. This is about having some sort of passionate debate, conversation. Um, you could be even seeing somebody uh, as a person that's there because they're supposed to be on your path in some certain way, shape, or form, right? It could be a job, anything. All right. <clears throat> so this is what I got. I got the Six of Cups. Somebody might be also um, in a thinking about somebody from the past. This could, if you're in a marriage, uh, you could be um, falling out of love with somebody, basically, you know, or maybe uh, you're thinking about a person from the past. But this card is in the reverse, so you're basically losing your love for that person. All right, it's it was there at one time, but it's kind of dissipating. It's kind of going away. It's kind of like hmm, you're losing that that um, passion you had for another person, that love. This card doubles as lovers. Okay, we also have the uh, Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Wands is basically that's the player card. That's the guy who comes in and hooks it up with you, makes you feel all wonderful and lovey and happy, and then boom, they're gone. And, and then you're like, whoa, where'd they go? You try and text them, call them, they don't pick up, they don't text back. That's like the ghoster, right? Um, that player ghoster energy. Wow, he's probably married. All right, if that's happening to you, that fool is married, leave that fool alone. <clears throat> we also have the three of wands here. And this person could have kept somebody waiting or is waiting for something, maybe waiting for a relationship to end, right? Because they don't love that person anymore. They're waiting to bring in the news of it's over. They're waiting to bring in the news to this player like, hey, get out of my life because I'm married. I don't want you. I've lost love for you. It could be so many things here. There's a lot of energy right here. But somebody here is married. I think it's that player. Somebody has realized that they're a player. And they might have even been really much, so much in love with that person, but not anymore those feelings are going away and uh they're no they're, they're they might have been waiting a long time in the past this person might actually be waiting to come to you when you're in a better mood mm -hmm. okay that person the last time i left they were mad so i'm gonna give them some time to breathe and then i'll just you know slither in like a snake and do whatever i need to do again this person might be waiting to come into you so be careful if that resonates with anybody if you're dealing with the player type all right, we're going to get another set here going. Uh, what do we have here? Somebody's very passionate about something, but that passion has basically left them out in the cold. Um, they want to have a conversation with another individual because they see them out as this person is somebody on their path, but we don't know yet here, right? That's just, this is the middle of the reading. We got one more set to go. You know, bear with me, you guys. Just, uh, I like to put the cards all in the upright position before I start, okay? All right, <clears throat> just get a couple quick shuffles in. Okay, I'm just gonna put these on the side here. Okay, let's get out four more cards. Let's get four more cards for July 18th, 2020. Four more cards for July 18th, 2020. One. Four more cards for July 18th, 2020. Four more cards for July 18th, 2020. Four more cards, please. Sorry, three more cards. Let me get this out of the way. That's why I feel like I need to do. Three more cards for July 18th, 2020. Three more cards for July 18th, 2020. One more card for July 18th, 2020, please. One more card, Spirit. One more card. Oh. One more card. One more card for July 18th, 2020. There we have it. Oh, don't fall down. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. How was it? Yeah. Okay. At the bottom of the deck. Final card at the bottom of the deck. Knight of Cups. Yeah. Now that's a message of emotion that's coming into somebody. It's kind of nicey, so let's we'll get to it. So let's see. All right, so yeah. Now, right here we have somebody definitely passionate about something, somebody definitely juggling, and they're juggling heartbreak, relationships. They're, they're juggling more than one person, right? There's another person involved here in your relationship. 
Remember, like I said, if you're in a happy, loving relationship, leave it alone. Don't accept this, okay? <laughs> because you're going to manifest it. So don't trip on it, okay? If you're happy, loving, everything nice, then keep it there, okay? But in somebody's situation out there, there's some heartbreak here. There was some cheating and lying, okay? Um, yeah, somebody was, you know, hiding things. There was some secrets here. Uh, somebody had, there was some deception going on. Somebody got away with something. Seven of Swords, that's a deception card. That's a card of somebody stealing, lying, cheating, theft, loss, fraud, whatever. Now we also have this five of rods here. <clears throat> and somebody's just staying in their head way too much. Okay, they're just in their head so much that they're not able to actually um, gain any intuition or any type of sacred knowledge because it's just jumbling in there. Too much, too much, too much, too much. You stay in your head like that. You don't actually hear the messages. So somebody here is not the high priest. The high priest is a person she knows. She knows. Right? She's got the sacred knowledge and she uses her intuition. But this person, whoever's all conflicted in their head with all these jumbled thoughts and energies or whatever. Mm -mm. This person is not into their uh, intuition. They're not following their intuition. They're not using any sacred knowledge or receiving any type of sacred knowledge. It's just information overload that's not doing anything. That's what it is, you guys. Yeah. You might be dealing with a person like that, but you don't have to be, you know. It doesn't have to be. This This whole reading doesn't have to be your story. Maybe just the beginning of having an idea is your story and the rest is like, whoa, that's a crazy story. But, you know, it's for somebody out there. Now, we have the Page of Pentacles here. Okay, and the Page of Pentacles is is starting to become stable right and that stability is coming in because you might be you might be going somewhere and learning about something something uh, spiritual or you know gaining some sort of sacred knowledge or maybe your marriage is uh, barely starting out and maybe you and your spouse or whoever you're with are starting some new balance together you know that's nice that's that's a nice one right there Somebody is finding some things out, finding balance. You know, you got to start somewhere and you can start with the page. It goes page, knight, queen, king. Okay, so this is the beginning stages. Somebody could even be bringing you in some sort of stability. Somebody may have found a job. Say, honey, I got a job. We could support ourselves better now, right? It's a new beginning in, in balance and stability, okay? <clears throat> So let's see what else we got here. Three of Swords. Why is that Three of Swords here? Why is that Three of Swords here? Why is that Three of Swords here? Let me get two more cards for that Three of Swords, please, for the General Collective for July 18th, 2020. July 18th, 2020. Whoa! That's a super amount of cards. I'm going to take this one, though. I feel guided to take it because I see it. We're going to put these back. Let's just take a quick peek, though. <laughs> Somebody's going to bring in some truth. Somebody wants to work something out. And somebody is going to end up walking away because they're not going to like what they hear. I'm going to put this back. Okay. <clears throat> So what do we have here with this Three of Swords? Yep. <laughs> that kind of changed the mood real quick, didn't it? Okay, yeah, there's going to be some arguments and possibly from those, that message that comes in, that message of truth, but there's going to be arguments here. People are going to argue over this third party situation, situation, right? Somebody can't let go of a certain individual or a thought or a, um, an idea, uh, even their money maybe, being a miser. You know, hoarding somebody's hoarding something um, we have the knight of cups and you know there he is again knight of cups knight of cups double confirmation this person is you know looking at someone from the past <clears throat> now i'm saying the past because he's looking back that's how i determine past and future by the faces on the cards which way are they looking okay this person's looking at the past this person wants to move forward and tell somebody something in the reading, somebody is in a third party situation and is looking at somebody from the past that they can't let go of, right? And that has caused conflict in their life with others, okay? <clears throat> Why is this Seven of Swords here? Why is this Seven of Swords here for July 18th, 2020? July 18th, 2020. July 18th, 2020, please. July 18th, 2020. 
July 18th, 2020, July 18th, 2020, July 18th, 2020. Woo! These cards, I swear, they're really, really trying to shout. They're trying to yell. They're trying to force. Let's see what these are. They're all in the reverse, first of all. Okay. No offer coming in. Not being stuck in their head anymore. Lost this, uh, you know, strategy. Had no more ambition. Um, no union. No relationship. No friendship. Somebody has made sense of it over a situation. Okay. I know it might be confusing because maybe, you know, you guys don't know the cardamancy, but... <clears throat> just take that at that we're doing this a, a little bit at a time don't worry i let's see we'll teach you guys a little bit as we go along through our journey all right so yes definitely we got the, this one came out in the reverse so somebody is um getting away with not telling the truth about something there is an illusion here somebody's in, a, in an illusion right and they think they're getting away with something but they're not they're not because somebody here <clears throat> Um, is not using their sacred knowledge. So somebody is going to figure this out. No problem. Um, there's going to be no, uh, there's going to be a victory here in a, in some sense when, when it comes to this person, um, this person who doesn't uh, bring in the truth. Um, this person thinks they're getting away with something, but they're not. They're in an illusion, an illusional or delusional state. <coughs> There's going to be some sort of success here, though, or victory. Um, somebody may even think that they have a lot of options, and they probably do. They probably do. Um, but it could also be that, you know, the Seven of Cups here is also a card of, you know, secrets, imaginations, and new feelings. So somebody um, may be having success in helping another person realize something. Okay? And, you know they think they're getting away with something with their illusional delusional state but they're not they're gonna actually learn a lesson here somehow some way how i i don't know it's your own story if you resonate with this row okay let's go ahead and find out what the high priestess in the reverse is why is the high priestess in the reverse high priestess in the reverse please Woo. okay Okay, <clears throat> got the Nine of Cups, got the Three of Cups, got the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's going to be coming into some money or some sort of stability. It doesn't always have to be money. Somebody could be uh, becoming more balanced within themselves. And uh, maybe somebody's even just waiting to gain that balance, you know, or waiting for the money. Maybe you are expecting a check, something like that, right? Could be. You know, if that's your story, who knows? Um, maybe you're waiting for a check or money to come in for some, something, but you could also be waiting to become more balanced within yourself. Okay, so let's see what these ones are. We got the Nine of Cups here, yeah. Somebody wants wish fulfillment in a situation, but they're not going to get it. Not right now, because they're all stuck in their head. They're not using their intuition. They're not using that sacred knowledge, right? The Nine of Cups is about selfishness and excess. A lot of people say, oh, wish fulfillment, everything's going to be great. Yeah, it's great for a little bit. Kind of like when you get engaged and you have that, you know, everybody's so joyous and happy for that month. But then it comes to the point where you need that Ten of Cups. because, And that Ten of Cups is all about stability. How are we going to pay the rent? How are we going to work? Are we going to have children? It's that talk, right? If the Ten of Cups doesn't show up, then this is just about selfishness and excess just want to party all the time somebody wants to party all the time kick back just uh you know chit chat it up and not really make any efforts or progress in any way we have the three of cups here there you have it party or celebration somebody definitely wants to just party all the time you know possibly has a lot of people that they talk to or relationships um third party situations could be meddling family members it could be having more than one a boyfriend girlfriend whatever could be um just letting a lot of people interfere into a relationship or whatever you got going on basically it doesn't have to even be a relationship you could the third party could be an, an addiction um a habit codependency that's also that can be the third party 
Um, we have the Ten of Pentacles here, though. Somebody here is actually very stable, right? Um, they could be financially stable or mentally stable and, and dealing with this individual right here. This individual who is just, you know, I don't know. So we're dealing in this row with an individual who uh, there is a third party situation. Even if they, they say, well, I don't have a boyfriend, I don't have a girlfriend. Well, you know what? That third party situation is this mental conflict. It's your addictions, your codependency, right? That overthinking, that's the third party, okay? And you're dealing with somebody who's very stable, grounded, possibly financially stable, and very, very mentally stable. Yes. We got this Page of Pentacles here. Why is that Page of Pentacles there? Why is this Page of Pentacles there for the General Collective for July 18th, 2020? All right. So somebody is going to, you know, take a leap of faith within this marriage, within this, this stable union or whatever is going on here. Maybe whatever that pentacle that comes in is allowing them to take the next step. And that's so cute. Okay, there it is. Look, Ten of Cups. So if you, somebody could have, in this row, could have been conflicted, not using their intuition on whether or not they want to ask somebody to marry them. Yes, that could be a situation too. And that is so cute. Right? Somebody is, is becoming more stable and balanced, right? Their mental conflict could have been, gosh, should I ask her to marry me? I don't know. I'm conflicted. You know, I love this person. But look at this. Somebody's going to take a leap of faith. Somebody here is going to take a leap of faith. And they're going to ask, I'm ready. I love you. I got this little thing in the bank and we're going to try to make it grow together. And if that's the case, you know, congratulations. Darn, I just got the chills, you guys. That's so cute. Congratulations for whoever that resonates with. All right, because the Ten of Cups is happy family, happy home. You know what I'm saying? All right, but yeah, look at that. Ace of Pentacles again. I can't even make that sh that up, right? Somebody definitely has got a little, you know, something in the bank, and, and they think they're, I think they're ready to do, to finally pop that question. And if it's not marriage, maybe it's taking something to the next level. Maybe they're getting you a little engagement ring or something, and that's so sweet. Yeah, and I think that's what might be in, in this case, because we have someone who's very passionate. They want to bring in that message of emotion, and um, definitely going to be asking something to someone special right now that's one scenario remember don't forget the other scenarios there can be a lot of stuff going on this is about i'm pulling in so many energies here it's like almost i feel like i think more people are watching my videos now and i'm getting overwhelmed but i'm trying my best you guys so i can only throw out so many and not the make the video go on for hours okay um, but if your story's in here somewhere you know all right but remember if something doesn't sound right and this is you right here don't think that somebody's in here not especially if this person just thinking about marrying you come on now you know don't think that this is your story okay you gotta only take what's resonating right what feels good to you if you hear this and you just start feeling fear and anger and upsetness that's not your story that's just fear trying to uh, come into your your uh, energy okay so that's not your story this could be your story right here, right? And that is so sweet. Uh, I do see here, though, that uh, somebody in another situation, you know, somebody might be passionate about something and want to bring in some sort of emotional uh, information or news, sharing emotions. But I do feel that somebody's in their feels about this because they could be coming in from the past. Um, they're feeling um, the loss over this situation maybe you may might have broken up with somebody or somebody out there broke up with somebody and they're feeling sadness and loss from the situation and somebody wants to come in and i guess speak their truth and say yeah i'm sorry so yeah that's what i have for you guys for uh july 18th 2020 i promise you that the videos in the future won't be so long i did i was guided to teach today to somebody out there okay maybe somebody's interested in the tarot and you know it can be so much fun i enjoy this and you know tarot takes a lot of time and dedication okay i want to tell you that people you know you, you got readers out there saying oh i'm certified who certifies tarot readers really what college is that don't listen to that bull all right either you know or you don't all right and it takes time to really become that tarot reader that you are going to feel comfortable being yourself, okay? Um, certify, who, who certifies? 
If anybody knows about that, comment below because I'm cu I never heard such bull in my my whole life. You know? What did they get that certificate from God or from spirit? Come on now, you guys. Let's be realistic here. Okay? Um, but let me know if anybody knows. I'm going to do some research on that. Okay? Anyhow. <laughs> that made me feel like, grr. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Anyways, you guys. Hey, don't forget, forget to keep it true love energy, right? We like to do that. Mantras are good. Mine is true love energy. Happy, friendly, and loving. We have nothing to fear because we stay calm. We stay cheerful. And we got spirit on our team. Yes, we do. All right. <clears throat> Once again, you guys don't provide uh, personal readings. Um, I'm a teacher, right? I'm a teacher. I'm a healer. I don't do, I don't charge for that stuff. Okay. But if you uh, do want to donate to the channel, you can click the drop down below. You can do that, but you don't have to. But it is appreciated if you do. Give and take relationships are very nice. Anyhow, I'm going to let you guys go. And uh, thank you so much. Oh, I just saw the number 5555. Five, five, five. <laughs> Anyways, look it up, right? Yeah, check it out. Look it up. See what that means. Um, but uh, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.